So this one that I've made uh, has one, two, three, four, five carbons on it all together. So that would be a pent. If there was no amine group on it, it would just be pentane. So what we show, uh, what we say to show that there is actually an amine group, this NH2 group on the end attached to the rest of this molecule is pentan amine. So pentanamine. This gives us a way of naming each of these compounds based on um, the length of the chain and where that is attached to our amine group. Now, I haven't looked at a lot of um, side branching at this point in time, but I thought this was a good time to start. Partly because when we start adding our methyl groups, so this is a a carbon with three hydrogens, so it's a methyl group. It doesn't have the fourth because the fourth is where it's going to bond. So I'm going to place this right here at the moment. When I do that, I now have a methyl group, a methyl group coming off my main chain, which is attached to my amine group. So the way that I'm going to number it is I'm going to assume that the carbon that's attached to the amine group is the number one carbon. So therefore, one, two, three. So the methyl group is off the third carbon. So therefore, I would call that 3-methyl pentanamine. But what happens if the methyl group is not off the carbon chain, but is actually off the nitrogen? So now it's starting to become really complex. So I still have my original five carbons in the, in the original chain. I have my amine group, but the amine group has had a substitution. One of the hydrogens is now substituted for this methyl group. So it's still methyl, pentanamine. But how do I show that the methyl group is actually coming off the nitrogen and not off the main chain? Well, the way that I do that is instead of using a number, which is what I would use to show which carbon it's attached to, I'm going to use the capital letter N. And the capital letter N tells me that the methyl group comes off the actual nitrogen part of the amine component of this molecule and not one of the other carbons. So this, in this case, to name this, I would name it N-methyl pentanamine. N methyl pentanamine. They get they're getting a little bit messy and a bit of a mouthful, um, but we're getting close to the end of the numbers that we have to look at. So let's have a look at the amides.